Hi guys, Mathsman here, back with another video. Today we're going to be looking at ratio and proportion. And in this first video, I'm actually just going to be looking at ratio and I'll be making another video about proportion and we can see the difference between the two. Right, I'm going to start off by showing you um, this example here. Now, first of all, we need to understand what a ratio does. A ratio compares one part to another part. And this is how they look. So it's always two numbers with a colon in the middle. Okay, so I would say here one to six. So when you see a colon, you use the word two. Okay, or you can say one for every six. So that's how they look and what they do. Um, now, how can I show this rectangle as a ratio? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the amount of yellow squares here. And then I'm going to take the, <coughs> the white squares and I'm going to put that at the side here. So I could say here that there are two white squares to every four yellow squares. Now, in ratio, another thing that we do is we simplify things, okay? Now, I can see here that actually I can half two and I can half four. So, actually, the ratio here is one to two, okay? One white square for every two yellow squares. And I can show you this, look. So, there's one white square for every two yellow. One white square for every two yellow, and that fits. Now here's another example. This time um, I have stars in front of me. So if I count, first of all, how many blue stars I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six blue stars. And I have one, two white stars. So as a ratio, I could say that for every two white stars, there are six blue stars. But again, I can simplify this and say one white star for every three blue stars. Now here's a word problem <clears throat> uh, to do with ratio. So Crazy Jack is offering one free shark with every six toothbrushes bought. So if I buy 18 toothbrushes, how many free sharks do I get? Now there are two ways I can actually work this question out. There is a beginner's way and an expert's way. I'm going to begin with the beginner's way. So I'm actually going to do that by drawing. So it's, I'm going to use a red to represent toothbrushes. And it says that for every six toothbrushes, one, two, three, four, five, six. So for every six toothbrushes, you get one free shark. So the blue dot is supposed to represent the shark. Okay, so I've only got six toothbrushes so far, so I need another 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to represent that by doing this. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So now I've got another six uh, toothbrushes. I need another free shark. So I've got 12 toothbrushes now. I need another six. One, two, three four, five, six, and I need another free shark. So I'm just going to check that I've got 18 toothbrushes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and the question was, how many free sharks do I have? Well, the answer is three. Now, the expert's way of figuring this out would be to use my knowledge of times tables. Now, if you can imagine, if this question was 180 toothbrushes and 30 sharks, um, to do the beginner's way by drawing the dots, it would, it would take me forever. Okay, so it's actually better if you use this method here. So, 18 toothbrushes, and they come in sets of six. So if I divide 18 by 6, that gives me 3. 
And then I must multiply my answer by the amount of free sharks. So 3 multiplied by 1 would give me the 3 sharks. Hope you enjoyed today's video uh, and hope it was useful. If it was, then please let me know with a thumbs up down below. Um, I am going to be making a second part video um, about proportion. So if you would like that, I'll, I'll leave the link below. And if you'd like um, more maths videos, more free maths videos, then please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.